Hello everybody and welcome to the first short little intro episode to my brand new series, my Pixelmon series. I don't know what I'm actually going to call it right now, I really don't even know, but I am here on Kaysen's Pixelmon server and we're just going to see what's up. Uh, I really don't know how to start off series apparently. Uh... In this series, obviously, it's Pixelmon. We're going to catch some Pokemon, probably talk with some other people on the server. There's no one online at the moment, but there's a whole list of people that play on here. Let's talk to this guy. So I've already picked my starter Pokemon. It's going to be Charmander, obviously, because, I mean, come on. Look at that guy. Look at that face. How could you not love that face? Uh, I've played Pixelmon before. I played for a little bit on uh, Vintage Beef's server. I never recorded it. I meant to. I was going to, but I just didn't play as often or as long as I would like to. I'm actually going to come over here and check this out. I think this big thing over here is going to be like some big Pokemon arena. You can see it up on the journey map. But I just want to check it out and see what is happening. What is this? Oh, that's like a... I know that we've got uh, like a bunch of mods on here. There's like the... Um, there's JEI, there's Journey Map, there's... Just some behind the scenes stuff. Obviously, there's Pixelmon. And there's like iron chests and stuff. So, yeah, this is definitely a big arena thing. Like I said, I'm not totally sure how I want this whole series to go. I need to get some food. I know that I don't want it to start with me starving. That would not be a good thing to do. I know that when I played with the uh, Vintage Craft stuff. Uh, I got really super into, um, like, the breeding aspect of the game. Like, taking Pokemon, uh, breeding them together, getting the strongest one out of breeding, and then changing... I'm, I'm not changing, and training it. Um, that was always just something really fun. And also, uh, getting them to be uh, as tiny as possible. I just liked the idea of the microscopic style Pokemon. These all look like normal eggs. What is this? Free eggs. Take as many as you want. Uh, if empty, contact Wolfie. Uh, not for pranking. Are there actual chickens that you can get on this server? I know that most regular mobs are disabled. But I am going to take some potatoes just to get myself started and then we will go out and we will try and find uh, a place to live I don't know I need to talk to somebody about like what the best way to go about picking a location like if there's a specific radius we have to go in obviously don't go too close to other people but I don't know if we have to go, like, certain distance from spawn. There are nether portals already. I might go in and check that out, see where everyone else is already living. And we will get started from there. Is that... That's a Voltorb. Or... A... Uh... Ele Electrode? Or is that a different Pokemon? Uh, I, I know a little bit about the early on Pokemon, so like the first maybe like three generations, anything else that I know, I know mainly from the short time that I've played this mod to begin with. Uh, so I'm not going to know every single Pokemon by name, I'm not going to know all of their best stats, I'm not going to know all of their best moves, um, but I do have some websites that I plan on going to. Are these protected? These might be protected. Or I'm just lagging really bad. No, because these... Alright, 
all of these beyond a certain point look protected, so I'm just not going to... I'll break what I can, replace what I can. Just to get me some starter food going. Yeah, something about that one little spot is protected. I need to eat before I actually starve. That was the whole reason for coming over here. So yeah, I don't know a lot about a lot of Pokemon, but I do know a little bit about a little bit of Pokemon, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but hopefully this will be a bit of a learning experience. I'll get to uh, figure out new types uh, and not just stick with the main first and second and third generations. Um, and we'll see what team we can come up with. The sun is setting. I do have a bed in my inventory. Let me just finish eating and then I'll throw that out and I'll sleep through the night really quick. It's also a quick way to get out of that little thing. Alright. So yeah, now that it is day, we will go and find some... We need to get some stuff to make Pokeballs, so we definitely need to explode. Explode? He said Voltorb, and I said explode. But yes, I was correct. That is a Voltorb. Uh, there is a Retitad that is going to attack me. I've got nothing that I can do. I'm out of... I, I, I need stuff. Well, if my Pokemon dies, yeah. Alright, that's fine. At least now nothing else will attack me on my way to wherever I'm going. Um... I'm just going to do some resource gathering and figure out some stuff that I need to do. That was a yellow uh, apricorn that I just got. So these apricorns, uh, you can plant them and they will turn into more ap apricorn plants like the one that we saw back over there. Ooh, that sun is bright. I'm not used to using shaders, uh, but I just felt like it, it makes it look more realistic i i enjoy the realistic types of looking at the pokemon and it makes it feel more like the cartoon or the anime i guess if you want to call it that i'm not a nerd i'm a nerd but i'm not anyway uh so yeah we will explore i'm gonna punch a tree just so i can gather up some tools and then we will See if we can find a place, preferably near a village of some sort. I don't know what kind of biome I really want to live in. I don't know what kind of Pokemon I want to go for either. Like, obviously Charmander is a starter. My favorite Pokemon types are uh, Fire, Ground, and... Um, rock and stuff like that i just love those kind and obviously uh ghost types would be cool to find as well i'm not really sure what i want my full team to be i just saw another apricorn plant that i can pick up so yeah there are different colors of these apricorns that looks like a red on top yep you have harvested a red apricorn so red gets you standard pokeballs uh yellow can be combined with blue to get you um a different kind of ball they can be kind combined with black to get you ultra balls which ultra balls are better than your standard pokeball i think it goes Standard, just regular Pokeball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, I know gets you um, to a point where Master Balls just can catch everything in the game. But I don't know if, um, I don't know if you can craft Master Balls. Sneak for more info. Can be used to catch Pokemon. Will never fail. Um, but there's a way. I don't know how to use JEI that well to see. Um, 
Okay, so U tells you the usage. So I can make a pack of potatoes. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, U shows you what you use to... What that, that item can be used in. So you can use these to make cooked apricorns, which can then be used to make your timer balls, your fast balls, your sport balls, and just regular pokeballs. And then U... No, U shows you usage. R shows you recipe. Okay, so R, so there is no recipe for a master ball. Those only come from Poke Loot or fighting bosses, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on any of my knowledge on this map, on this mod. I don't really know anything. Uh, I'm just playing to play. This looks like it might be someone's place, or it could just be a random computer out in the open. But I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to continue along this way. I'm going to make a waypoint for that. And maybe come back later and see if this belongs to somebody. I also don't know what this little hut thing is. I'm trying to click on it. And we don't have any kind of Wayla or what am I looking at kind of thing. Um... Kurt's footsteps, craft a Pokeball. Oh, those are like, um, what is that? That's a biggie. That's a big boy. That is a huge Beedrill. Look at that. I didn't know they could get that big. Look at that. That is huge. He's going to die. Be oh, no, he's, I think he's attacking a different uh, Pokemon, either that or he was just suffocating in that tree. I did not know they could get that big. I've seen the super microscopic ones, but I've never seen how big they can get. Um, I'm, I'm just all over the place with talking. I don't even remember what train of thought I was on. Oh, I was trying to make a waypoint for this area, but meh. It's just a random computer in the middle of nowhere. We will find more eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, look at that. That is a humongous beedrill. Man, I'm glad... I'm, I, I hate to say it, but I'm glad Charmander's fainted because there's no way... I mean, size doesn't correlate to level, but I'm guessing a wild Pokemon spawned that big for sure has some strength to it. Uh, so collecting more apricorns. So iron, I think iron and apricorns. So usage this and then you, you like you pound those out and then Uh, some discs. D-I-S-C is how you spell it. Uh, yeah, so iron disc and al aluminum discs you make out of iron, go figure, or aluminum. And then those are your bottoms for every type of Pokeball. I'm pretty sure that... Every type of Pokeball uses either an aluminum or a um, iron base. And these right here, berries, uh, can do anything. Oh, well, here. So you feed these to Pokemon, and it cures sleep or cures poison. Uh, and there's just a h hundreds of different kinds of berries I'm sure we could look up and find. Uh, I thought I had crafted... Yes, I did. So we're just going to resource gather. On our way to wherever it is that we decide to go. I would like to find at least one of every type of apricorn. 
that would get me a good starter farm and then I can just harvest those and plant more as needed. What are you? That's like, looks like a hamburger helper, dude. Yeah, see, I don't know any of those. I don't know any of those kinds of Pokemon. There's, I know that one. That's a Kakuna. <laughs> see, I know some stuff. I didn't even get that one guy's name. Kakuna. Kakuna Matata. Uh, more berries. I, I don't think you can replant the berries. I can try. Let me just, I've got these in my hand. Oh, you can. Cool. So as long as you have more than one of those, as long as you harvest more than one, you can plant another set. Uh, there's some white apricorn I already have. But once you harvest these, they start to grow back. These don't go away. So I don't feel bad about harvesting those as much as something that may not be as renewable. Oh, this looks like a nice little... Uh, water area, but I don't... If I'm focusing on rock, ground, fire, all those, those spawn mostly in deserts. Oh, this looks like someone's house. Oh, good thing I didn't want to settle down here. Um, but I will use their... Okay, so there are real chickens. Real chickens exist. Can I walk through this? This sounds like it might be like a chicken cooker of some sort. But I will sleep through the night here. Whoa. Uh, must be standing on a bed. I don't know what all that means. Okay, I'm going to come down here. Huh. Look at just some kind of chicken farm. Alright, I'm not going to stick around here too long because I don't want to just mess with someone's stuff. Oh, you're cute. What are you? Burmy. Burmy? He just said his name. That's the good thing about Pokemon. You just ask and they'll tell you their name. So these right here, I know are... I don't know what they're called, but they are like earth uh, stones. Earth stones? That might actually be what they're called. Uh, and they can be used in evolutions if you have an eevee and you level it up enough to evolve around one of those things um it will automatically turn into a leafion leafion i'm guessing and then i just found a leaf stone as well my inventory is already full how is my inventory full and i'd feel like i haven't gotten anything <laughs> Uh, there's nothing in that cave. That cave leads to the other hole that I saw that I was like, I'm not going to explore that. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. There's some more apricorns up there, but that looks like a white. Yeah, it's a white apricorn. What different colors are there? Oh, it looks like there's a village right here. Cool. Um, how do you spell? Apricorn. All right, so there's black, white, pink, so it looks like we've got everything except black. So we've got white, pink, green, blue, yellow, and red. So yeah, the only one that we need to find is a black apricorn. And then we're good to go as far as possibly finding a place to settle down. I see that village. And villages usually come with stuff like um, healers and stuff that you can purchase from traders of some sort. Not all Pokemon say their name. I do know that. Uh, at least not in this mod. And prob probably not even in the show as well um they just kind of chirp or hum and timmy's stuck in a well oh no <laughs> uh so yeah so they've got these blue buildings that have vending machines that you can buy water soda stuff like that that you can buy with your pokey coins these guys i don't think sell anything 
uh, the red roofed buildings up here have healers, which I don't know that I really want to heal my Charmander right now, mainly just because I don't want anything else to start attacking me. This place has already been raided. I could have guessed that by the fact that there are... Yep, by the fact that there are furnaces and chests here. And... There are caves. Well, once again, these caves lead nowhere. Come on, people. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to pause my recording for just a moment. And we will return once we have found where we want to live and found possibly some black apricorn and whatever other materials we think we might need. Ooh, I'm about to starve to death. We also need to find sources of food. That's one thing you don't really focus on in Pixelmon. It's weird because there are no normal mobs. You can't just kill a cow and get food. Apparently there are chickens. So we can probably use those as a food source at some point, but I should have grabbed some eggs before I set off. But, I mean, as long as I can slash, or maybe not slash home, but as long as I can get back to spawn at some point. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to take a break for just a minute, and we will be back. Oh, look at that, c -dot. Uh We will be right back once we find a decent place to live. Oh. I thought my Charmander was dead. When did I heal him? I don't know. Anyway, and I also just saw a black apricorn, so... Sweet. I don't have any Pokeballs, though, so I can't catch any new Pokemon. Oh, cool. So there you go. So you can get food from... Pokemon. Alright, well... I was gonna cut, but now that I found a black apricorn we're good so now i will stop i promise this time i will stop and we will find a good place to live so i was walking around and i found this village and you may have already seen it but i found a gym that is awesome looking that's got to be like some kind of fire gym But that's crazy. I've I've done gyms before. Obviously, I'm nowhere close to ready to do this one, but that's pretty cool. There's a tentacool over there. Um, but that looks awesome. I'm just going to take a look inside of it really quick. If I can find the door... Here it is. Someone's going to probably stop me. Oh, no. Yeah, level 22. You can't run from this battle? Oh, well, jeez. Well, yeah, saw that coming. Cool. Thanks for nothing, buddy. All right. Back to exploring. All right, so not exactly the kind of temple I wanted to find. I was looking for more of like a desert temple, a Minecrafty desert temple. But this right here, these are, um, these are shrines to the ancient Pokemon types, like, um, like Zapdos, Moltres, and, oh, don't tell me the last one, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno. Haha. -ha. Uno dos tres. I knew I knew what those were. Uh but yeah, these are so cool. You you um I don't know what you have to find to summon them, but once you do, you like put them in this shrine and one of the like legendary type Pokemon spawn uh just in the area and you have to catch it. Oh, and there's a little Machop. Uh, still haven't found what I'm looking for, but that was a that's a really cool discovery. Uh, this I'm definitely gonna make a waypoint for. I truly am just finding villages everywhere, and there's another gem. 
That is so cool. Oh, look at it from the top of the journey map. That that looks like a... Uh, that's going to be like an Earth-type gym, perhaps? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what all the gyms specifically look like, but that looks so cool. God, all of the design work into this mod, as far as, like, spawns and temples and, like, random stuff goes, that is so cool looking. Uh... Gym sign doesn't belong to you, obviously. Um, oh, someone's definitely already fought it, because I know that... Oh, well. I have to fight. I can't run. Can't do anything. I've also learned that when you sleep, it heals your Pokemon. I was wondering how my guy got healed earlier. Uh, it's definitely when you sleep. So that's good to know. When you sleep, it heals your Pokemon. Uh, so when in doubt, just sleep. But I, I like to... Hi. Look, I know it's it, it's close to Christmas, dude, but... Why are, why are you in a Pixelmon <laughs> game? Oh, that's weird. Alright, so this, this village has definitely been looted. But just to check, might as well. Maybe I'll just dump off a whole bunch of stuff. My inventory is already insane. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show that other gym. So we're, we're finding some cool stuff, but nothing that I'm actually looking for. I'm still looking for a desert to try and live in. I could probably just ask somebody on the server, hey, is there a desert nearby that no one's living in? But I like to explore. I like to do it on my own. And I will do just that. I will explore some more. Okay, so I know I said that that Beedrill was huge. But take a look at this Onyx. My god. That is so cool. And the detail on it is awesome. It's not going to attack me because my Charmander is still fainted. But look at that. That is insane. Okay, I don't even know where to begin on what kind of gym this is. From the inside of it, it looks like it might be like a forest grass type uh, gym. Just because there's like that tree and stuff inside of it. That is just insane at how cool the structures in this game are. Like, obviously I have one Pokemon. I'm waiting to find a place before I start catching more. But just stuff like that is so cool. Alright, could this be it? Could this be the desert that we've been looking for? I think it is. I think we have found a desert. If not just a tiny island that kind of resembles a desert. We're still in a river by him right now. Get me out of the river. Diglets! Diglets spawn in deserts! Desert! Haha, <laughs> we have found it. But it is a very tiny desert. At least it looks like a very tiny desert. It might extend more out this way. Whoa, that is a very fly, low-flying wingle. Um, Gunpowder and string laying on the ground right here. I am hungry. Alright, so it looks like the desert extends out this way. So that's nice. And it jumps immediately back into what looks like a plains. And there's a, oh, there's a savanna over there. If I'm not mistaken, unless spawn rates have changed. Oh, and there's a boss normal. And he's heading this way. <laughs> uh, so the green ones like that are bosses. I saw one earlier and I thought it was a shiny. But they're not. And I knew that. I knew that when I saw it. I was like, that's not a shiny. But it was something in my brain told me it was a shiny. Uh, anyway, off topic again. Uh, as far as I know... Uh, dittos? spawn in savannas i'm not a hundred percent sure on that i'll have to double check the wiki they may have changed it but as far as i know dittos spawn in savannas and the cool thing about dittos is that if i'm wanting to focus on stuff like breeding pokemon uh a ditto you can breed with anything and get 
I'm pretty sure the exact same thing out of it. And you can kind of more, you can more or less fine tune your breeding with dittos. All right, I don't see a temple out here. There's a little bit more desert this way. A temple is not necessary, but it would be a cool find and it would be a cool way to just kind of have a structure to kind of go ahead and live in. There's a well, but that's not a temple. But if anything, I can just build my own. Yeah, that looks like the edge of the desert right here. And that's for sure not a desert temple, pyramid, whatever you want to call it. But there is a nice, looks like a nice little bit of cave right here. This, I, I think this is it, guys. I think we have found the beginnings of a home. Very close to a plains biome. Very close to a savanna biome. It's in a desert where we're going to get a lot of uh, stuff like Nermals, Cubones. Uh, I think Growliths might also spawn out here. And then next to that savanna, hopefully, fingers crossed, if I look it up on the wiki, uh, we can see if Ditto spawn rates are still high in savannas. So I think I'm going to come back over here close to the edge, probably build right on the edge of a savanna and uh, the desert. What in the world was that? <laughs> uh, and also we're, we're kind of like in the middle of like a three way little thing right here between this plains, Again. the desert and this savanna. So yeah, right here like right in the middle of this river is kind of the crossover point between all three and kind of looks like a little bit of a forest maybe a birch forest back this way uh yes maybe not a birch forest maybe just a regular forest forest but uh that's a, this is a little bit of a savanna yeah forest oh hi cascoon don't know. All right. Well, it is getting dark and we have found the place that we want to live. So this is very cool. It only took probably about an hour to find this place uh, and going extremely far uh, to the south, to the southeast. But I like it. I think this is going to be a pretty cool place to build up and settle down. What is that? That is cool. Uh, you can fly in this game, pretty sure. If you get a flying Pokemon like that, uh, you can actually use it to fly and get around places. What are you? Dunsparis. Dunsparis? Dunsparis? I don't know. Okay, I've seen these. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. I've seen them in a single player world that I was just kind of testing and messing around with. I don't know what they're used for. I need to look it up on the wiki. I looked at it for a long time in a single player world and all of a sudden like some weird purplish cones I think started coming out of it. Maybe I was hallucinating something. But I don't know what these things do. I've tried throwing Pokemon at them. I've tried throwing items at them. I've tried standing inside of them. I don't know what they are. That's another thing I need to look up on the wiki. So we will find out what the heck this thing is later. But eventually they just disappear. And I feel like there's something I could be doing with them. What is that? Oh, tiny, tiny Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what those things are, so... Oh, and Sandshrews. Sandshrews, right there. Love them. This is my place. This is the place for me. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned for more of this season. And we'll get started with some Pokemon. And we'll see where it goes. See you in the next one.